So any marketing that I do on Google, Google AdWords, I always do the core list. So I know for sure if a person types in the city and something real estate related, more importantly, like if I'm targeting buyers, I would say Oshawa homes for sale, Oshawa houses for sale, Oshawa property for sale. Because it has the city I'm working, it has what I do as a service, plus I know they're looking for it as a buyer. Those are the main keywords I'm going to target. Or in this example, we're going to do house values. So I have Oshawa house prices, Oshawa house sales, Oshawa uh, house solds, Oshawa house stats. There's all a whole bunch of varying ways of saying the same thing. And then underneath that, I have a long tail list, just trying to capture everything. So this is like 500 ways of saying the same thing. But to get started, I'm going to use my core list. So this is my core list that I'm use, going to use for house values. So what we want to do is you always start from your landing page and work your way backwards. If you're going to do a Google AdWord campaign, you have to have a place that you're going to send them to. So earlier in the session before, we had created this sample landing page right here. So I'm going to copy that URL because this is where I'm going to drive the people to. Then you will go to Google AdWords and uh, sorry, you're going to go to Google and just Google search Google AdWords. And I'm going to log in to my Google AdWords. Now how you get in, it might look a little different because if you've never set up a Google AdWord account, they're going to take you through a tutorial setting things up. Oh. Like this. So this is a, a different email. So because this email doesn't have an account, it's going to take me through a guided step or you can hit step, skip the guided step. So if you're watching this video in the future, I suggest you hit skip the guided step and then follow along. I'm going to actually run it for a, a real account that I have. So looking at the dashboard, it looks really complicated and technical. Um, it actually is easy if I break it down. There's a bunch of headers up at the top. There's the home, campaigns, opportunities, reports, and tools. No matter where you are, you're probably going to want to. You're probably going to be on the home page. So if you're following along this video, just click on campaigns. I'm already on the campaign uh, page, so I'm going to create a brand new campaign. So I'm going to hit create a campaign, and don't do any of the other options except for search network. The reason we don't want to do the display network is because that is going to be an ad on Craigslist and Kijiji and CNN and a whole bunch of other websites that are related but they're not necessarily searched. So I really only want to pay for the people that are searching for the keywords, not reading about the keywords. It's a lower dollar value. You know the people are going out of their way for it. You have to name it something. So when you name it, um, name it the umbrella. So I'm going to have one umbrella with under this umbrella is going to be my house value campaign. I'm going to have another ad targeting buyers. I'm going to have another ad targeting townhouses, condos, yada yada. So all of that is going to go under what's called the campaign. So name the campaign whatever you want to call it. I always call it local search because that's what I'm targeting. So I'm going to say local search test because I already have one. Um, make sure that this is uh, set to search network, this drop down right here. So I'm going to scroll down. Do we want to uh, uh, include display network partner websites? I'm going to hit no. I don't want that. I just want it on the Google. Locations, this is where you can target um, by different things. You can target by postal codes. You can target by city. So in example, I'm going to say Oshawa. And you can see it has a potential reach of 206,000 people. Well, you probably can't see that, but when you're watching this video, you will. It says 206,000. If I wanted to add other areas, I could literally just start typing in the other areas, like Whitby, and so on. And I would target all the areas that I'm going to uh, want to attract business. Um, I'm going to remove Whitby. And I'll, in this example, I only want Oshawa because I'm targeting the term Oshawa house value. So I'm only targeting people who are in Oshawa. Scroll down. You can leave the languages as selected, or you can check off if you speak other languages. You can select them. A default bid is how much are you willing to pay per click. So I'm going to say um, I'm willing to pay $2 per click, and I have a daily budget of $5 a day. So if 
for example, say I put one dollar a click. And um, so say it was a dollar a click and I got five clicks, at the end of today, it's going to shut off after five clicks. So whatever your monthly budget is, divide that by 30 and that gives you your daily rate. So if you're $300 a month uh, as a budget, divide that by 30 and then you're at $10 a day. So if you want to not go over your monthly budget, that's how you figure that out. Your total budget divided by 30. So here I want to do $5 a day. Um, these options down here, so let me show you a, a little advanced feature. So if I do Toronto Real Estate, Let me do for sale. Okay, see this first advertiser, how they have a uh, one line of blue text, a line of green text, and then one line of black. Look at the other advertiser. He has one line of blue, one line of green, two lines of black, and this blue line. Well, what's happening is this pr advertiser right here is taking up two additional sections so these two things right here are pushing whoever is down underneath this guy off the page altogether. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Take up your unfair share. You might, if you're going to be on the first or second spot of Google, you might as well push everybody below even further. And how we do that is with these options right here. Um, you could add a site link. So let me go back to the ad. They added a site link. So here's the ad. They're targeting Toronto uh, homes for sale. And then they have a site link, Toronto Homes for Sale, Aurora Homes for Sale, Mississauga Homes for Sale. So if I was to click on any of these, they would take me to the, recept the proper page on that agent's website. So these guys set it up right, whoever they are. I don't know who they are. But you could add a site link called um, uh, Toronto House Values, Toronto Condos, uh, Toronto Homes for Sale. Like you could make your own links, right? Those would be landing pages? Yep. So here, let me go to... Um, I'm, I'm just going to go to my website as an example. Let's pretend that danwood.ca is a realtor website, which it isn't. Um, if I was promoting this for consumer leads, maybe this button right here, my one-on-one -on -one coaching, maybe to you that's a house value page. So you would click on the link to your house value page, and then you're going to make that a site link. Mm -hmm. So if I go back to Google AdWords, I want to check off I want a site link. Check that off. You're not going to have any over here because you've never done one before. It's going to be blank. And what you do is you click create new site link. You will name it what, so that the people know what it is. So I'm going to say Toronto Toronto house values and here's the link to that proper page right here. Thinking of selling. find out today, whatever the call to action is, and I want to hit save. And then you're going to see the new site link that you just created is now going to be over on the right. So add four site links, like house values would be a site link, um, uh, book a showing would be a site link, talk to a realtor would be a site link, and a daily email alert. So those are the main four that you would use right there. So you would do that, rinse and repeat, I would hit create site link again. And then the next one, I would send them to my buyer page, and I would rinse and repeat that same for formula. Once you have your four site links over here on the right, then underneath, you're going to have call. So I'm going to extend my ad with a phone number. So you can add your phone number. If I hit add phone number, and I have to put it as Canada because I'm Canadian, and then you put your cell number, 905-903-5442. Device preference, I'm going to check off mobile. Because if a person is sitting at it, um, in Toronto and they Google search Toronto Homes for Sale, and I'm targeting that as an example, um, if they're on their mobile device, that's when I want my phone number to appear because those are the people that get in one click call me. So I'm going to hit save. And then it puts your phone number over on the right. It, you won't have any phone numbers over on the left, but if you do, you can click the little arrow and it'll add it to it. So I want to have my phone number right there. Um, you can extend it with a few other things, but uh, really the site links and the phone number are the main ones, and that's just going to push all the advertisers below. 
So like this guy's ad right here, who has these site links and all the other information, um, I'm sure if I just did the same Google search on my phone, it would have the phone number in addition to that because they did that right. So I'm sure they, they might as well have added the phone number. Okay, I'm going to hit save and continue. And this is where I create the ad. So um, enter your landing page. Well, let's go grab the link to our landing page. Copy. And I don't want to confuse you. This landing page, we made it for Aurora. <laughs> the keywords that I'm using are for Oshawa. And the, um, the site link that I made was for Toronto. I mean, it's all going to be relative to your, your, what you're targeting, right? So here's the landing page that we created. I'm going to name it. The ad group is what the what it is. So this is house values. Default bid, whatever you want. Um, I usually put it at two bucks a, a click. Enter your keywords. So here's a here's a trick. Over on the right, it has a whole bunch of um, keywords that they think you should use. Don't use that just yet. Type your own in. So here I wrote my core group of words right here. So I'm going to copy that list. And I'm going to hit paste. Then I'm going to hit save and finish. Oh wait, first um, then I'm going to hit continue to ads because now I have to create the ad itself. So uh, URL for a web page. That's the landing page again. I'm going to copy that. Aren't you glad I'm recording this for you? <laughs> so see how it's red underneath there? It means that you have too much text. So I'm going to remove as much as I can. So at the beginning, the HTTP stuff, it's still too much. I'm going to remove what's passed. And there we go. That will run. OK, so um, this one, Oshawa. Oshawa house values. But it doesn't matter if you shorten the URL. No, as long as the main .com is intact. What's after is just a bonus that you can fit it. Okay, I'm going to hit create ad. So here, now my ad is running. So in about 10, 15 minutes, if anybody searched any of those keywords, they're going to see that Google ad that I had just created. Now I'm going to show you one more step that all of you should do that is going to basically cut your bill in half. So what you do is after you've uh, hit submit and you've, your ad is now running, what I want you to do is um, click on keywords. So there's a bunch of tabs here. If you click on keywords, I can now add keywords. So here's the core group of lit, uh, lists that we uploaded. If I hit add keywords, now look, over on the right here, it's going to suggest a whole bunch of house, uh, keywords that are related to uh, house values. Obviously, with a live audience, it doesn't want to work. But anyways, this big section right here, it gives you a whole list of keywords relative to the main one that you already uploaded. So then I would just go down and pick all the ones that are, are important and add them. So the keyword would be here and there'd be an arrow and I would click on it and then it would put it down here. And I would just scroll for days going down, picking all the ones that were really relative. Like, I mean, they have to have the name of the city that I'm targeting and it has to be all about house values. If they're talking about bungalows or townhouses, I'll save that for another ad in the future because maybe I'll create an ad targeting them. So you don't want to be a one size fits all and try and capture everybody. If your landing page and your ad is about house values, boy, you better only be targeting house value keywords. So say you do add a whole bunch of keywords, then what you do is you check off this little box right here and select all of the keywords. If you have a lot of keywords, there'll be a little prompt right here that says select all because maybe you have a couple hundred and you don't want to select just the first page. So then make sure you hit select all. And what you do is you go edit, change match type, and they have a defaulted to broad match. I either want you to use phrase or exact. For simplicity of this video, I'm going to say exact because it is going to be the bare bones, most cost effective way of you running a Google ad. So watch, when I hit exact match and hit make changes, it is going to put a bracket. See the bracket around all of the keywords? 
if you can't. Anyways, before and after the phrase that has a bracket. That just means that the person has to go to Google and they have to say Oshawa home prices. Because what if somebody puts in, like say you're doing another campaign for buyers and you say Oshawa uh, real estate and that's a keyword that you target. Well, what if the person goes to Google and types in Oshawa real estate rentals? You're paying for that now because they added the word rentals. But because I put this bracket, they have to say these words in and around that order. So I'm excluding any other random baloney that they're putting in there. The other one is um, if I want to add keywords up at the top here on that tab, it has negative keywords. So I always add negative keywords. I'm going to click add negative keywords. I'm going to do it at the campaign level because I want it applied to all of my ads. And th just watch this video and do it step by step. Pause and play and give me a call. Um, so, negative keywords um, soccer, football. You guys are like, this guy's crazy. Why? Because the MLS, Toronto MLS, to us is real estate. But if you're a soccer fan, the Toronto MLS is a soccer league. So, you don't want to be paying for any of that. And if you don't want rentals, Rentals, rent, lease, leases, leasing, like add all the negative keywords that you want. The more the merrier. I mean, why pay for everything? I say just dominate the keywords that you want to dominate and pay and own the top 20 instead of worrying about everything under the sun. So I'm going to hit save. And that's it. This campaign, I can have it set up and running and never have to come back and do anything. Like this ad could be running for four years and I know I'm going to be getting quality leads because these people are going out of their way searching for those keywords at that moment. I'm driving them to a page. Maybe um, the only thing I start doing is playing with the page itself and uh, like adding a different video or adding a chat tool or adding a different call to action and playing with that. But with this, it's like set it and forget it. So together we just made like a 10 minute video and I did one campaign, I could do like six campaigns in an hour and then you're off and running, set it and forget it, you don't have to do anything. So that's why I really like Google AdWords. Now, let me stop that video.